Hi, I'm David McDivitt, a full-time single dad. My kids and I spend a lot of time watching football, but man, do they ask a lot of questions. Why is that worth seven points? Why is that worth three points? Why is the man with the headset on screaming? That's why before watching the game with my kids, I take them to school. Welcome students of the game. This is Football 101. This is the Single Dad's Guide to Learning Football. Even though football is as American as cherry pie, kids don't come into this world with an innate sense of how the game is played. And what better way to teach them than with an expert? So we're gonna run a play called Strong Right, Fake 34, Naked Left. This isn't a real play. I ran well, this play a lot here with the Broncos and we were right. pretty unstoppable. Who's the teacher here, David? Remember what you were taught in preschool. There's no such thing as a stupid question. Only stupid answers. But you're not naked. I'm naked and I'm running outside. Okay, earmuffs, Nikki. Keep your clothes on. Yeah. When you're learning new skills, it's important to pay attention to the lessons. As I run, this guy here bites, then this guy's gonna come down and take off and I'm gonna throw a home run. Can you know what a home run is? Hold the question, David. You know what a home run is? That's in baseball. Finally, summarize what you've been learning. This reinforces that the instruction has sunk in. What was the play called again? Strong right, fake 34, naked left. If I was a referee, I'd blow the whistle because it's delay of game, that took too long. Don't get distracted or you might miss something important. Okay, so the reason this play is in because we're playing the San Diego Chargers and this guy here, he was out all night last night and I know that he's a little slower today. We're gonna be able to not only double, triple, quadruple team and then run a little creeper sweep throwback and that's called a swirl, curl, twiggly wiggly. So I'm gonna say strong right, fake 34, naked leg, strong twirl, you swig, get it? Are you getting this down? This and way. so he's gonna come across here too, and when he gets to the sideline, he's just gonna sit down, and he's gonna meditate while I run around back here and make this guy miss me. And this guy I know has bad eyesight, he has rec specs, so when he comes up, all I do is go, look at that, and he looks over. He's gonna run this route we call Shazam, and then all of a sudden he's gonna come over here, and by the time I make this guy miss, and then their tackle, and this is their all pro end, he's gonna come here, and this guy's gonna turn and come back because now I'm going the other way. Do you follow? Take good notes. Remember, when you leave a classroom, the only thing you take with you is your memory of the lesson. This guy too, he was meditating. Now all of a sudden he just made himself show up over here in his meditation because he knows that I'm on the same page. And as the defense reacts and then they don't react and they overreact, then we're gonna make sure that this play is the biggest play of the game. You got that? So as I scramble around and then I come back here and everybody's adjusted and rerouted their routes to make sure they know where I'm at, I'm gonna throw the ball here, the fullback's gonna catch it, toss it to the meditating X who's gonna take off, score a touchdown. Clear as day. I'd love to know how you taught your kids about the game. So please let me know in the comments below. And as always, please follow us on YouTube and like us on Facebook. Thanks.